Hi, and in this Microsoft Word tutorial, I'm going to show you how to lay out a report in Word and how to format the headings. So as you can see, I've got a very simple report layout here. I also have all of the different headings advised for a simple report from the title, table of contents, executive summary, introduction, the main body of your report, conclusion, recommendations and bibliography. Once you've got the body of your report organised, we need to deal with all these different headings so that we can formulate our table of contents and allow it to be updated every time we make an adjustment. So let's just go to the title of the report. So I'm going to highlight the title of this report. I'm going to make sure I'm on the Home tab. And there's a large section along the top here. And this is dedicated to all the different headings and the layouts that you can choose when formulating your report. And along here you'll see Heading 1, Heading 2 and Title. And these are the only three you'll really need to worry about. So let's just click Title. And that will increase the size of your text. And we can align it to the centre here by simply going to the centre text icon. And then the next thing we need to do is go along and highlight all our main titles, our heading one, as we like to call them. If you go up to here, you can see heading one. Now, all I need to do is to go up and highlight my headings, press the command or control key on your keyboard and go along and highlight every single one. Once you've done that, go up and click on heading one. And as you can see, all of those headings have changed. Now at the moment, there aren't any numbers against these headings, and that's because we can select from a number of different options as to the, how these headings are laid out. So if we go up to this icon here and click on the drop down, you can see I'm currently on none. All you need to do is go along and select the particular type of heading or numbering that you'd like, and just click on it. And as you can see, we've now got those different numbers alongside our key headings. And for subheadings, if we just highlight this subheading here and go to heading two, you can see we've now got 2.2. And again, down to this one, and again, down to this one. Now, of course, you can do this as you go along. So if you were to simply write some text, let's just go down and let's say we wanted another title. You can do this as you go along, click on it and click heading one, heading two, etc. You don't have to do this at the end of a report, of course. This is just to show the, this is just to merely show how this technique works. So now we need to go to table of contents and this is really where these headings come into their own. So let's just click below this table of contents. So let's just go up to references and down to Table of Contents. Click on the drop down. And here you can select from a number of different options. So I'm just going to click on the first one. And as you can see, as a result of us selecting all those different headings, Word has automatically inserted those headings into this Table of Contents. And if I change something, now, as you can see, that hasn't updated yet. So all I need to do is just click on my table of contents, click on the drop down, update table, update entire table and click OK. And there you can see that that has changed. So that's just a quick tutorial on going through the basics of headings and how to insert a table of contents. I hope that's helped. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.